And welcome back to Badger High School. We saw Thriller here this evening. Badger outlast Matthews by a final score of 47 to 46. Chad Krispinski back with you. So pleased to be joined by the head coach of the Badger Braves, Josh Upshire. And coach, congratulations. I know what this game in particular means to the entire program and to you and your players and all the fans who packed into this gym. How sweet is it right now? What's going through your mind at this moment? Oh, my. Um... I don't even know if I can if I can even think about it right now. Um, you know, kudos to Matthews and Coach Weimer um, for the game plan they had against us today. Um, you know, they they were able to shut us down there. Um, you know, we had 47 points. We're averaging about 67 a game. So, um, kudos to them. Um, you know, this crowd was electrifying tonight. Uh, it's fun to play games here. It's, it's it's really fun when the crowd and the community get behind you. Um, it's electric and uh, it, it, it was exciting. It comes down to the final seconds. What's going through your mind in that last sequence? A three free throw attempts. He misses the last one. What's going through your mind as the clock hit all zeros? Box out and rebound. Um, you know, that was, we've been struggling a little bit uh, rebounding the basketball and free throws. So that was one concern with me, especially with Cole Fountain out there. Um, but, you know, we had to put Brad down there. who's not used to being in that spot. And Duncan was able to go get it. Um, you know, that in, in my mind, it was just box out and rebound. How proud are you of what this group has done not only tonight but throughout this early part of the season and the schedule with all the success they've had. It's a true team effort and I know that you're really proud about that. I'm so proud of these guys you know to battle when we aren't at our best. Um, you know we have some guys in positions they aren't used to but you know for for guys like Brad Hamilton who has busted his butt for four years for us uh, for guys like Cole Burnett who's, who's stuck with the program. Uh, for Bryce Gross, who comes in and does the gritty work, who doesn't get a lot of, you know, a lot of attention because he doesn't score, but he sits down and defends for us. You know, we have the two freshman sensations, as they call them. Um, and then, obviously, to have Duncan, Duncan to fill it all out uh, makes it special. This group works their butt off. I can't be any prouder of this group and, uh, and this community and, and how they back us. How high are your hopes for what all of this group together collectively will be able to do when it's all said and done? I think, I think for us personally, uh, we have high expectations. You know, our, our ultimate goal is to win the league first and foremost, and then to be able to to uh, cut down a net at the district championship. You know, it'll be obviously tough with the with the teams that are in our district. We have one of the toughest districts in the state of Ohio, um, but we have to be able to come out and compete every night. I, I think that we'll be out be able to battle and do it.